All right, I was listening to Sports Talk Radio today and was a little surprised at the number of callers who complained about all the Cub fans who were in the stands this weekend out at Kauffman Stadium. The three-game series drew just shy of 100,000, and there's no way of determining a breakdown, but I would call it perhaps a 60-40 to 40 split, and that isn't too far off. I heard one radio talker chastising Royals fans for not buying more tickets. The radio guy was dead wrong. To begin with, that's a lame excuse. Don't blame it on the fans. Come on. I don't know if our owner showed up this weekend, and I really don't care, but if he did, I would hope David Glass took a good look at all those Cub fans in the seats. Sure, it was embarrassing for Kansas Cityans, but not for the Arkansas cheapskate who saw nothing but dollar signs everywhere he looked in the ballpark this weekend. You think David Glass is concerned about all those Cup fans in the seats? Uh uh. By the way, the radio guy wouldn't let it go. He just kept harping on it. I can't remember his name, but he kept pinning the blame on KC fans. I think the guy just blew into town. He doesn't realize we've endured terrible baseball here for the past two decades. As for all those Cub and Cardinal fans we saw this year, it's a direct reflection on this owner and the lousy teams he's given us. We're not as dumb as David Glass thinks we are. The Cubs and the Cardinals are still not a good enough reason to convince us to go out and buy a ticket. If and when the Royals ever become good again, there won't be any extra tickets for those out-of-town fans. That's Jack Smack.